In this tutorial, we will see the advanced features in when you are managing the layers. The first one are what we call the groups. So just let me create some layers and increase the timeline. So in TV Paint, there are no folders system like you can find in other um, software, editing software or animation software. So there is another system and we call these the color groups. The color groups is a way to organize your layers following their content. For example, the layers for all the elements from a character, like the line, the color, the shadows and stuff, or a color group, for example, for the storyboard or for the rough animation or for the element from the background. And to define the color um, in a layer, we have to click on the little tag just here at the left hand side. So we have several colors available. I will repeat the process on all the layers. And in order to make things clearer, I will draw a little stuff on every layer. Okay. We have used some color tags, some color groups on every layer. And now let's see the real interest of the color groups. To do so, let's click on the color group button just here. In order to refresh um, the color groups currently used, you can click on this little loop arrow, like this. You can also choose the color groups by yourself just by clicking on the list and check the colors of your choice. When the color groups are available, you have the possibility, for example, to hide very quickly the layers from a color group. They are hidden, but their content is still available, is still present. If you want to hide their content, you must click on the big point just here just like the point we have here when we want to hide a single layer. You can edit the color groups just by clicking on edit like this and so you can give them a name like rough animation, background, clean, or whatever. You can give any name as you like. You can also assign a, a color group already used on a layer just by hitting this button. You can also protect a color groups by clicking on this icon just here and you will give a password and then nobody will use will be able to draw or change anything within the layers um, from this color group. When several layers are inside the same color groups, it has uh, many advantages. So first, you can organize the layers and make the difference between the layers from the background or from the animation or from anything else. And for example, you can also move layers at the same time. To do so, just hit Control, the Control key, it's the same whatever if you're on Mac, Linux or Windows. Hit Control and move simultaneously the whole layer from the same color group. When your layers are organized within color groups, you have a bunch of choices available. For example, if you click on the eye here, you can, for example, decide to activate or inactivate the current groups layers, just like if you were clicking on this button. But you have also other choices like lock current groups layer or unlock them, 
or enable switch on or switch off the light table on the current group. And you can also, for example, merge the layers from the current color group, like this. The second advanced feature regarding the layers is the preset. The preset can be found into the new button just here, and you can click on open new layer presets, like this. So by default, you have the possibility to change the anim layer. I advise you to create your own preset. So click on anim layer and click on new preset. My preset. So we can give it a name. You have the possibility to choose the type. The type anim or CTG. Anim is for animation layer. So um, in the actual presets, uh, so anim layer, background layer, and duplicate structure are all anim layer. Only the color and texture layer is a different one. It's a CTG layer. CTG for coloring, texturing, generator. But, uh, I will talk about this layer in a further tutorial. You can define the position. So will this new layer will be created above or under the current layer, above or under the current group, or at the top or at the bottom. When will it start? For example, will it start at the current frame? Will it start where the current layer starts? Where it ends? Or you have a bunch of choice for to start the layer and to define its duration. Let's have an example. So here my layer will start here. That's changing my preset. And let's say, okay, I would like my layer start from current frame and its duration is until um, current layer stops. I will put my cursor on the timeline here. And if I hit my preset, my layer start at the current position and will end at the end of the layer where I was just before, like this. You can also define the structure, like, for example, you can define the structure um, similar to the previous layer, or just having several empty instances, or just one empty instances. So here I've changed my preset. And here, instead of having just one big instance, I have a bunch of several instances. You can also define immediately the color group. You can also define the blending mode, the pre and the post behavior. Ideally, when I create a new layer using my new preset, every layer is called untitled. Untitled, untitled. There's no difference between the different, there's no different name. They are always named untitled. If I want to avoid this and, for example, having untitled 01 and titled 02, I can change this and I will use information percent %i. And now my person will name Untitled 0, Untitled 1, Untitled 2. And you have actually a bunch of possibilities uh, using percentage, percent something. So we have uh, the possibility, for example, I will change like anim, and I will use, for example, percentage y for the year, percent M for the month, D for the day. Let's create the layer. And here we have a layer called Anim 2015 06 10. Because you are currently on June 10th in 
2015. There are also other percent available. We have H for the hour, another M, but a big M for the minute, big S for the seconds. We have a so CLN for the name of the current layer. So if I click back on my preset, I will, oops, sorry, forgot the percent. If I don't put the percent, it doesn't work. Hit this layer and use so my name is now anim I just come anim because it takes the original name from this layer so I could for example create copy and if I hit my preset I use a copy of anim and I take actually the the name of the previous layer where I was just before hitting my preset button. There are also other features that you can choose, like for example, lock the position to avoid to move the layer. You can collapse a layer in order to have automatically a layer that appears like this. You can also enable or disable the auto create frame and the auto break instance. And you can immediately assign a shortcut by clicking on assign. All the presets are saved just here in this button and you have the possibility to remove some presets. You can create your own presets and you can also export them. So for example, if you are working in team, you can export your presets in order to allow other people to work with your layer presets. Anyway, whatever the presets are in your TVPen project, when you start a new TVPen project, the behavior here will be always of the same. They are not affected by your presets here. To change the first layer created when you create a new project will be defined. You have to click on Edit, Preferences, Startup tab. And this is here where you will define how the first layer from an early new project will be created. So you can enable or disable the auto break instance and the auto create frame. You can choose immediately the post and the pre behavior. You can eventually lock or unlock the position. That's okay. And let's create a new project. And here we are. I have changed some feature. And now when I will create a new project, I will have those options enabled or disabled.